Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. In today's video we have some big updates for Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Andor series as well. As always my dear Megalorians, before we dive into it, please may I ask you to hit that big red subscribe button if you've not done so and also be sure to give that bell a good old tickle to be alerted each and every time that I post a new video. So my dear Megalorians, without much further ado and without any more jibber jabber, let's dive straight into it. So we're going to start with the breaking rumour that Obi-Wan Kenobi begins streaming on Disney Plus in May of 2022. This is from the Direct who scooped this last night after leaker Jordan Mason teased something huge on Twitter. So let's dive straight into what this article has to say. Obi-Wan Kenobi release date New rumour reveals premiere month of Disney Plus show. Jordan Mason, editor-in-chief of Cinelinks, shared that based on a lot of stuff he's heard from inside sources, Obi-Wan Kenobi could premiere in May of 2022. In a way, this rumour makes sense, especially considering the fact that Obi-Wan Kenobi has already wrapped filming. Directed by The Mandalorian's Deborah Chow, the upcoming Star Wars series is going to showcase the return of Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen. So that's the article, guys. Let's talk about it. Now, obviously, as I spoke about in a recent video, there's an upcoming strike, which just got the green light, but that's not going to affect the Kenobi series and other shows that are wrapped filming. But on the subject of the release date itself, the month of May makes a lot of sense, now that the show is in post-production. I also want to point out that Star Wars Day May the 4th falls on a Wednesday, which is just too perfect an opportunity to miss. As you guys know, Disney Plus changed their release schedule from Fridays to Wednesdays, which was a bit of a controversial decision, but it is what it is. So we could get the most incredible Star Wars Day of 2022 on May the 4th, with a potential premiere of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now evidently within the fandom we're all ecstatic and we can't wait for the series, but I don't think people realise just how big this show is going to be. I've already seen some film journalists and entertainment outlets predict the Obi-Wan Kenobi series to be the most anticipated TV show of our generation. Now I realise that's a massive statement, but we're talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi, one of, if not the most iconic legacy character in the entire franchise, and in pop culture and cinema history, Obi-Wan Kenobi stands as one of the only characters who is still relevant after 43 years. I know Alec Guinness isn't around anymore, but he was the first one to play the character in 1977's A New Hope, and we're still talking about that character in 2021. Just think about that for a minute, it's pretty mind-blowing. And even casual Star Wars fans and people who've just heard of Star Wars or who say they like Star Wars but only seen one or two films, they're gonna tune in and watch. This is truly going to be huge, so we can't underestimate just how big this series is going to blow up. And I can't wait for all the hype and all of the build-up, and hopefully we do get that sweet, sweet, much-anticipated trailer at some point. And on Disney Plus Day, which is next month, we could be getting our first look. Even if it's just a poster, I'm dying to see something. And the same goes for the Andor series, which brings us on to our next subject. Let's talk about Cassian Andor. The Andor series, or at least its first season, is going to be 12 episodes long, making it the longest of the upcoming Star Wars shows on Disney+. Plus. It wrapped up filming well before Obi-Wan Kenobi, and even though it faced a lot of production delays, they finally got over the finish line and it's currently in post. I've spoken quite a lot about Andor in the past due to the fact that I do know a couple of people who worked on it, and the Obi-Wan Kenobi release news that we just got is very much in line with what I've been told about Andor and when we can expect it. It's looking very likely that the Andor series is going to release sometime in February after the Book of Boba Fett, and that will take us all the way to early May when Obi-Wan Kenobi is going to drop. Now you might be thinking that's a very tight release schedule, but we've got to bear in mind that Lucasfilm are also hoping to release The Bad Batch Season 2 and The Mandalorian Season 3 next year. So if it's all gonna fit, considering Andor is 12 episodes long, then they are going to have to release them show after show, with very little gaps. We're literally going to have a year where there's going to be a new Star Wars episode of something every single week. And that to me is just incredibly exciting. And the best part is that we're just two months away from it all kicking off with The Book of Boba Fett on December the 29th. Now I do have another Andor update and this relates to casting. Alex Ferns has been cast as a new character called Sergeant Kostek. This doesn't mean anything to us right now because it's a never before seen character. In Star Wars, Sergeant was a rank held by certain officers in the Confederacy of Independent Systems, the Republic, and then of course the Empire. Given the point in the timeline that we're working in in Cassian Andor, this Sergeant is most likely to be an Imperial. So we'll just have to wait and see what kind of role this 
character is going to play in the series. Now speaking of Andor more generally, I often get asked what kind of show is Andor going to be and what I can say is that we're all in for some very big surprises. It's going to be very flashback heavy with an emphasis in these flashbacks on Coruscant and the end of the Clone Wars. There are definitely going to be some surprise cameos as well as familiar faces from Rogue One and as a spy thriller they're really doing something different with Star Wars. It's not going to be the same as Rogue One as a lot of people think and generally it's not going to be what you expect from a Rebels oriented show. I've said this in the past but we really should not sleep on Andor. It's going to have a lot of exciting tie-ins and even though we know how Cassian's story ends later on in Rogue One, his adventures and importance to the Rebels story before his death are going to be fascinating. I don't know too much about the plot but I have heard of some very exciting cameos and what I can tell you is that Lucasfilm are doing something very different with this series. It's not going to go the way you think. So in summary, 2022 is going to be quite a year for Star Wars, maybe the best one on record. I know some people don't like it when I call it the golden age of Star Wars, so at the suggestion of one of my channel members, I'm going to call it the Beskar age of Star Wars. I think it's a very appropriate name and I think it does justice to the amazing content coming our way. And while I wish I could say that inevitably not everything's going to be great, I really think all of the shows next year are going to be incredible. I just don't see why they couldn't be. And I know there's going to be episodes in every show that kind of feel a bit dull, a bit slower, but either way it's Star Wars and it's amazing. And as Dave Filoni says, there's no such thing as a filler episode. Everything ties in for a reason in Star Wars, or maybe I'm just being too optimistic. But either way, I've got very high hopes for everything coming in our direction. And the other great thing about a lot of these shows coming in 2022 and even The Book of Boba Fett is we're not sure if we're just getting one season or multiple ones because that definitely opens the door for so many more possibilities in future years. Maybe not for Obi-Wan Kenobi which is confirmed to be a mini-series but definitely for Boba and Andor. And even with shows that are already one or two seasons in, the potential for more content is huge depending on which direction they take. But otherwise my dear friends, that brings us to the end of this news update. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and a huge welcome if you are, and also if you're feeling generous, please consider becoming a patron. The link is down there in the description and you get exclusive access to videos that are not found here on YouTube. May the force be with you. I'm Star Wars Meg wishing you a phenomenal rest of the day, no matter where you dwell in the galaxy. Have a good one.